Hey guys, welcome back to Cooper Style Reviews. We're taking a look at Banana Forces MPL-01B Black Sharpshooter. So far, this company has released two molds, uh, MPL-01 Red Sharpshooter, which we'll do a comparison with in a second, as well as, I don't remember, I think it's MPL-05, and it's Orion, I believe the name of it was. That's more of an IDW-inspired uh Optimus Prime, but so far, nothing but Optimus is, uh, was really excited because they had teased an Ultra Magnus that goes along with this, this is their car robots, um, convoy here, which can combine with Ultra Magnus to make, like, a big super, uh, I think it's like Omega Prime or something like that, but, yeah, so that hasn't come out yet, hopefully it does soon, within the next couple of releases, but, yeah, so far, Primes, it's a really cool redeco, this is a throwback to um, one of the redecos that they had. It's not a Nemesis or anything like that. I don't know if it was a store exclusive or what, but this was an official um, Hasbro Takara repaint as well. But in terms of accessories, basically uh, it comes with a gun, a sword, variety of hands, and then the parts to turn it into its super mode, like an optional head, shoulders, um, the side blasters. And then he comes with not only the kind of ladder styled blaster that goes over his shoulder or his arms but he comes with a dual one as well which is new so let's go ahead and get this started knock it out quick okay so here he is next to mpl01 same company different deco regular version of their car robots prime so height wise these guys are pretty big they are about 10 and a half inches to the antenna which is a great size, die cast figures, die cast frame, plastic outer, just, it's cool stuff. I do like the way that these are done in general. Big chunky boys, super robot proportions, so. And if you guys end up getting Orion Predator, I just remembered its name. The parts are interchangeable with that too, they share kind of uh, similar base and stuff and the ports to clip everything on are samey, but there you go, there's that comparison. Now, in terms of the figure itself, and I'm gonna adjust the brightness a little bit here, there we go. Okay. Head's on a ball joint, but there's also a piece that lets the head move up and down, so if you want him to have downward neck movement, you could do that pivot piece there, put it back, and then he has downward, all right? Put it forward for more upward, like that kind of stuff. It, it's a neat addition. So shoulders, there's not a lot of bicep, or bicep butterfly. These pieces flex for upward. The arms move separately from the shoulder. That's a back piece that clips in. Just slides down. I don't even know how that came out, that's weird. But I accidentally pressed the light gimmick. That's one of them on its chest, boom, boom. I wish they went with a different color. It's a blue light inside of a kind of clear yellow piece. I don't understand that position or decision, but whatever. The deco is nice. The glossy black with the gold accents, it's really good. I haven't seen any chipping. I've had this for months now, and I haven't seen any chipping or kind of like the bubbling that like the signal candy red tends to do, so... Kudos to this company for getting that right. Double jointed elbows, but because the forearms are so big, it doesn't go very far past 45 degrees. Alright. The wrists are on ball joints. So there's minimum rock, always. And then, it has actual rockers built in as well. So that's pretty cool. Alright. Ab crunch. Alright, so back bend first. Ab crunch, not a ton. These pieces do go forward. All right, no drop hips or anything like that. These pieces go to the side. So forward, backwards, and these joints are pretty strong. All right, I do like that they're not ratchets so that you can actually, if you need to, like use Kiki polish on them and stuff like that. Now this hip piece, if you look, it does slide, so there's some animation there. I wish the knee wasn't so huge when exposed. But, boom. Those are ratchets. Okay. So the feet. Downwards, forwards. Um, 
ankle tilt, boom, boom. Some movement in the toe there. Some movement in the heel. But yeah, they do drop as well. So that's pretty cool. All right. And that's the articulation posture. Now getting this guy uh, turned into its super mode, pretty simple. The head pops off the ball joint. Now because of this rocker, it can be kind of annoying to get the new head on. You just kind of got to find the, ang the angle where this part kind of stays in place and then pop it on. Unfortunately, it doesn't loosen when you do it the first time, so each time you kind of got to find that angle and stuff like that. So there's the head, much better in my opinion. Boom, shoulders, boom. Blaster, blaster, and then what else? I believe that's it, minus the back piece. So you have two options here. You can go with a single, all right, slide it in. Then it works like so, okay? So these do have a light gimmick. It's not very bright. Like you can hardly see it, but there's minimal blue light inside of there. But he also has the option, oh, well, I'm getting this all in place, of the dual blasters here. Make sure that I'm doing it right. Boom. All right. And they're downwards, but of course, you can take them, flip them over as well. Make sure that's pegged down tight. Okay. And you have a light gimmick on these. It's not very bright. We'll go ahead and turn off the backlights so that you guys can at least see it. And see, you can hardly see it. It's crazy. And that's lit up. Uh, let me see if I can adjust my brightness a little bit. Yeah, hardly anything. It sucks. Ba Boom. Ba boom. And boom. So, pretty worthless uh, LED gimmicks. It's not to be negative or anything like that, but, I mean, if they don't really work, or work well, I, I don't know. But it's still a cool looking toy regardless, I mean, there's that. Alright, I actually prefer them flip down. I actually like the look of it flipped down, as crazy as it sounds, but it looks better than me. Alright, oh, one well, of my heels wasn't down, I was like, why is he not balancing? But there's that. Okay, and quick comparison with MPL-01 in its super mode. And some lights. Look how much better that looks, the blue on blue LED versus the blue on yellow. It's just weird. I might actually open this up um, if I get unlazy and replace it with like a yellow or orange LED because I think that'll look much better. All right, so there's that. There's that. And you do have the option with both of them, of taking this guy, and attaching it to the forearm like so. All right, and then this here, Banana Forces, MPL-01B, Black Sharpshooter, he's holding his blaster, he's holding his sword, he's got the um, elongated blaster type ladder replacement thing on his forearm, he is, Stacked and jacked and ready to just take on all of the Decepticons by himself, it looks like. So, let's see if we can zoom out a little bit. Alright. 
and, and I like it. I like the look. I like the additional blasters and things like that. I believe the uh, MSRP is the exact same as uh, MPL01, so that 150 to $200 range. So you're not paying any extra, like some kind of Wonderfest exclusive or something like that. And it is gorgeous, you know? If you liked MPL01, uh, you'll love MPL01B as well. What you see is what you get. In terms of this company, if it sounds like I'm a little bit, I guess, uninvested into this review, at this point, I've kind of seen the same frame and nothing but primes from this company, so I'm just waiting for something new. I think that there's a lot of potential with this line, but if they're not going to capitalize it, you know, I don't want to feel like I, as a fan, or the community in general, is being kind of baited and switched, like they show you all of this stuff, and then just keep on releasing, like, you know more primes using the same mold so we'll see where it goes from here hoping it's ultra magnus so that we can get the combination and stuff like that as well as magnus itself because magnus was i think um at least a head or two bigger than prime uh when i saw the prototypes like it's huge and it's got to be um and then the combined mold's going to be absolutely magnificent but anyway this has been another kuma style review let me know what you guys think in the comments like share subscribe and i'll see you next time